Hello, everybody. Yeah, I had hoped to be on uh, this morning, but I had again some technical issues. So I hope this reaches you. Uh, you can watch it on YouTube as well or on um, the Facebook, Facebook page as much as you want. I'm Elaine and Bergstrom, an artist perspective. And is our your composition into thirds. So loosely, I have a piece of copy paper and um, tried to equally divide this sheet of paper into thirds. So um, it's, it, it's not perfect, but it's kind of a random thing. And what happens is you get these Those are supposed to be a way for you to focus. What is your center focus in your picture? The dot in the center represents, you know, the center focus. And I was just looking for a marker I had out here. Um, let's make it a little bit darker. So often what happens when we begin pictures or we see things as we uh, just basically start putting the subject like right in the center. And I don't know if you could see my pencil lines, but um, being more um, off center makes the painting much more exciting. So um, you can play with these points. So what I did was um, to, kind of show this as I cut out some different shapes for us to look at. And, you know, what it happens when we kind of connect things on the focus. So maybe let's change that to something smaller. And if we have too many focuses and the size uh, changes it or the direction we have to look. So here we have three different shapes and, you know, which one do we see when, you know, we look at the picture and they're all kind of tension and fighting because center because it's on a diagonal kind of goes in there but then I'm pulled up by the square because it's bigger it's larger and then the circle also brings my eye to it because it got it has curves so the idea is when we're creating a painting is if I want my focus to let's say be the circle um, how do I get the viewer to, you know, come down there. And now it's a little bit more balanced to me, um, getting the viewer down into this corner. Still a little fighting. So what happens, um, let's see, I used, used this. I was just thinking what happens if I put that there? then my eye really goes to the circle. So sometimes we have to change the actors or actresses um, in our painting to our eye there. And not everything has to be on that focus, right? Because the eye just immediately goes to it, um, you know, Maybe I play with uh, some very different shapes and you know, this would be abstract, but maybe it would represent something different. So let's just try that again. And this is kind of fun um, just to kind of assemble it. And if you think about it, 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 it could be a, maybe a mountainscape with a big tree in front um, with some trees here. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's, that's some other background, but it allows me to kind of think about where 
the placement is. And then here is a big 16 by 16 um, square. And obviously you can divide it much easy, easier. So, you know, if I start there with my focus, how do I get the viewer to um, move their eye up this way? How do I get movement and shape, um, you know, to draw the eye away from the center? I mean, that could be a sunset, a sunrise, but for some reason, maybe, um, you know, I'm building a tree here and I, I want the eye to go. So this is pretty abstract, but it's kind of a fun way to think about it. So you do not have to cut out little pieces of paper, but I think it's quite fun. And um, it, it, it kind of gives you an idea of playfulness. It might be a warm up activity for you to try and see what happens in your painting. And um, if you're drawing, let's say a landscape and you have trees, you know, maybe you just represent the, um, you know, the trunks by just a rectangle. And, um, you know, some trees just maybe round, maybe in a bigger circle. Some trees might be a triangle. So maybe you create um, that triangle, cut the triangle, and you can kind of see its shape and how the eye goes to it. I hope it's been helpful. If you like the video, please like it, please share it with others, and please tell them that I'm on YouTube if they're not on Facebook. I also want to still welcome you to join uh, the free Evolving Art community. It just started today. And it's just an opportunity for you to connect with other creative people and talk the talk. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.